Hi guys and welcome to Leaderboard TV. My name's Graham Green and today we're going to do a product review for Ping's latest addition to their range, the G30 Fairway Wood. Now, lots of exciting things going on with the Ping product range this year. I'm going to have a hit and come back and tell you guys exactly what I think. Okay guys, so I had a good play about with the Ping G30 Fairway Wood. Really enjoyed it. Um, let's talk about the look of it first and foremost. So again, exactly like the rest of the product family in the G30s, you've got these turbulator bars on the club face. Now what these are doing on top of the club there is actually giving you a lot more resistance to drag as the club head comes into the ball, creating more club head speed, giving you greater distance. Now I've always been a firm believer really in fairway woods that you don't really want them to keep hitting the ball further and further and further. You just want them to be nice and accurate and get the ball up in the air easily. So although it's got the turbulator bars, I can see the benefit to the driver, but I'm not so convinced there's a huge benefit to having it in a fairway wood. But there you go. I guess they want to marry it in. So the turbulator bars on there, it's got that nice black stealth finish, slightly shinier club face here with the white lines going across. It looks lovely when it's sat behind the ball. So from a looks perspective, it's a good nine out of 10 for the fairway wood. When we come on to the performance, the feel and forgiveness, it's cracking. It gets the ball up there really nice and easy. Now, whether that's being aided a little bit by the addition of the turbulator bars, I'm not con entirely convinced, but it does go nicely when you hit it. It's a really nice high ball flight, which is pleasing to see because a lot of the modern um, fairway woods have started to drive the ball a little bit too low for my liking, but certainly picks the ball up nice and easy. And I was carrying this five wood easily about sort of 220 without any real effort so a nice easy club gets the ball out there um, plenty of forgiveness when you hit it all over the club face which is what we all want um, I hit a couple um, off the bottom they still sort of span up um, so yeah nice um, I give that a good 9 out of 10 when we come on to adjustability, exactly like the driver this year, you've got a little bit more option for tuning, which is great, because I think in the fairway woods, it's really interesting to have that. In the driver, I think for most people, they'll get the club head set up and leave it exactly as it is to suit their ball flight. But I often feel that in fairway woods, it's lovely to have that ongoing flexibility to take a fifth, uh, an 18 degree up to 19, or perhaps down to 17, or in the three wood, the 15 up to 16, or down to 14. Again, when the, when the weather changes, times of year, you may want a bit more flight when the ground gets harder. In the winter, you may want to drive it a bit lower through the wind. So it's lovely to have that versatility. So one degree of adjustability, good to see that on this latest model. So you've got to give that nine out of 10 really. We come on to the shaft. Again, it's got the new ping shaft in here. And the great thing about this new shaft is it's got a higher balance point. They've shifted more weight up towards the grip end of the golf club, which actually means the club head feels heavier. And again, what that does, it gives you more moment, moment of inertia into the ball, more club head speed for greater distance. So overall, it's a cracking looking golf club. It does perform really, really well. Um, I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10, but really urge you guys to come down and try the whole lot of the new range in this Ping G30.